Hey everyone, Meridian T here, and welcome to the next part of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII 2. In the last part, we finished out the Brush of Ruins after getting completely screwed with monsters. In this part, we're going to take a trip back to New Bodom real quick. Um, there's some things I want to do here. I want to get the last fragment. I want to see if I can actually get some monsters. I did off-screen my uh, commando, so I do have a commando now, but I do, would like to get a sentinel because they're like godly in my opinion in this game. I don't, I'm not a fan of them in 13, but there's, I love them in 13 too, so. I think I've already been over this. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've recorded something, like, honestly. I think the last time I recorded was three weeks ago. I've had so much stuff, and then Star Ocean 4, I wanted to get that out of the way, because that's been sitting on my computer for a month. Well, except for the last part of it, but. Yeah, and I was gonna go record some Birth by Sleep instead of recording this, but it turns out my PlayStation Portable was dead on me because when I thought I was charging it, I wasn't. Yeah. Hey guys, you're back. Not yep. that you've been away that long. A few hours ago, right? That's when we saw you off, but look at you now. You've sure. changed somehow. Like you've gone through a lot in a short time. So Noah was telling the truth about time travel and all that jazz. Don't tell the townsfolk about it, though. Who knows how they'll react. You gotta be tired. Go home. Get some rest. How about... No. But yeah, I went to go try and record Birth by Sleep. I get everything set up. And I gotta turn on my PSP, and it's dead. Like, nope. Power button, like... It's like, nope, you ain't playing today. So, yeah, now that my PSP's charging, so I'm recording this instead. So I'm just waiting to see how my PS3 is going to try and troll me here. Okay, push the penguin! Push the penguin! Okay, so there isn't really much you can get here as far as drops off of enemies, but they do give you um, potions, which if you get enough of them, you can't actually sell. Hey, who hidden thing right up here. This is our last fragment, actually. Oh my gosh. And this would be the Graviton Core Alpha. Um, so there isn't much to do here besides trying to off-screen some enemies, so I'm gonna try and do that. Tell me you guys in a bit. Just as expected. <laughs> oh yay! Look guys, another Ravager. I'm not actually sure if I've actually shown this guy. I was just thinking while I'm like running around here, I didn't make my fail safe save. Whoopsie. Oh well. Um, so I guess this is gonna be the V take of this one. Or something. Yeah. He's gonna have to. something. Of course not. Yay. I don't know how much I need the Sentinel yet. It'd be nice to have, but. Might be able to hold off a little bit on it. But I'll give it a couple more tries, so. Next time I hear someone say, oh yeah, kill with Feral Link, I'm gonna shoot them. To because, oh my gosh, it doesn't do anything. You know what? You know what? Screw it. I'll get a Sentinel later. Yeah. Also, make that fail safe safe now. And you know, just have to keep the first bit of this video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, so let's not zone out here, and let us head to the Yasha's Misty Kenaya. Um, there isn't much else we can really do anywhere else, so let's just head here. We'll get a little progress in, I guess. Um, I don't know how much of that I'm actually cutting out, so this might be a bit of a longer video. I don't know. Um, the whole, like, you know, actually splitting them up into, like, separate parts as I'm recording is just so odd for me. I know it sounds weird, but I'm, like, used to recording them up after I record and doing an editing stage, so I mean, I don't know, we'll see what happens. People always say the future will be better. They believe the hardships of the present fade with the passage of time. And so we hope, waiting for a future brighter than today. But Sarah... 
Remember this. As you walk towards a brighter tomorrow, you have to look back to your past. The path you have walked to reach the here and now will give you the courage you need to hope. <clears throat> In ancient times, the Falci devoured the light, the darkness cloaked the sky, and the Earth knew only night. This must be the Eclipse. You know what this is? They said 500 years ago, a massive Falci appeared. For a while, it blotted out the sun and turned everything dark. If that happened 500 years in your past, then this must be 200 years in my future. Right. Something's wrong. Look, the eclipse is only affecting this small area. That shouldn't be possible. Okay, so you're saying this could be a paradox? That's what I'm saying. Huh. Of course. Of course. Wait, as I was saying, like, I don't know, I'm so used to just, like, doing it. This reminds me of stories we heard that there used to be a great city on Grand Pulse. I bet this is what these ruins are. What happened to it? No one's been able to figure that out. We were more or less locked up inside Cocoon. We never had much opportunity to learn about the world below us. Our scientists have only just begun to study the mysteries of Grand Pulse. Yeah, I'm just so used to doing it like in batches at this point. I don't know. I might just end up doing that with this. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Hello, are you here to observe the facility? I can answer any questions you might have. Ah, yeah, perfect. I do have some questions. Where are we? And what year is it? Wait, no! You can't just... hey, what? No. Just. Mm. Yashas Masif, 10 a.m., sir. 10 a.m.? So nowhere near 200 years. I must say, this is the first time anyone asked me what year it was. I don't suppose you happen to be time travelers? Well, Kobo? Honey, you ask. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to hand out this map. Take it, it's free. Cool, I guess. Yeah, we get the map of the Yasha's Masif. Yay. And we can talk to him again. Keep your wits Yay. about you. There's no telling what kind of monsters the paradox has let loose in here. You said the paradox. Are you talking about the Eclipse? Yes, the great Falci, Fenri, blocked out the sun. It was predicted he would appear 200 years from now. Which means? Which means his appearance now indicates some sort of time distortion, right? Um... The Falci wanted to meet you. The Falci arrived 200 years early to meet with a certain someone. Yes, sir. That someone is you. Hmm. So this entity crossed the boundaries of time and space just to meet with me? I suppose I can't discount the possibility. Yeah, uh, please discount it and find a sense of humor. That. Let's talk to him again. We have no idea what caused the aberration. Okay. Okay. And during that whole scene, I'm thinking invisible chest. Invisible chest. As Mog is now saying, there's an invisible chest here. So yeah, I might just end up doing this in bulk recording. We'll see. I mean, not like super bulk recording, but without the like actual splits and parts when I'm recording. And, eh, I don't know. Why am I even talking about this? I don't know. So, um, anyways, in other news, for those of you who haven't heard by now, um, Final Fantasy 3 was announced for the PSP. At least for Japan, we should get it in North America. I don't see why, why we wouldn't. Yeah, it was announced for the PSP, which is cool, I guess. It's the DS version. For those Any of you, discoveries? for those the of you that have played it, there's no need for panic. It's our job as scientists to figure out what's behind this mystery. Okay. Yeah. Um, for those of you who played it, I played it, I but haven't beat it. And th wait. Hold on, hold on. I need to go back to her. I don't care if things are bad. I'd rather be on Cocoon. That sounds like Lucille in Final Fantasy X. From Final Fantasy X. Come on, talk again. 
fine. Don't talk again. Yeah, that kind of doesn't look like feel. Maybe it's just me. Um, anyways, yeah. Uh, I haven't the been. Conservatives it. who still believe in the ways of cocoon must be unhappy with the academy. Oh, no, it's great. I haven't gone very far, but yeah. Um, hello. Um, I haven't gone very. Uh, I guess I have gotten far in it. Um, I've gotten to the final dungeon and I died to the final boss. And this is the said Revenger I have in my party right now. But I'm not Robert Commando. Um, yeah, this is a command I have in my party. Um, but yeah, I've gotten to the final boss and I died. I'm just like, I'm not going through that final dungeon for three hours again. I'm done for now. And I haven't picked it back up. And that was January. It's now June. So. Oh, the same year, of course. But, oh my gosh. My food is kind of. My dinner is kind of trying to settle right now. So I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. But I mean, oh, I kind of feel bad I haven't beat it. Three and five are like the only two main series I haven't beat. As far as I know, I'm not 100% sure if I beat one and two. But, oh my gosh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, this teaches about the searchlights, and if we are outside of the searchlights for too long, um, enemies will try and attack us, and our mod clock is a lot shorter. I recommend walking along the path of the searchlight. Most monsters hate light and will do anything to avoid it. But if we get in the light, um, the mod clock goes is longer again. And yeah, so anyways, we want to take a turn left here and get this, which is the tablet of Hazra. And there's more stuff out here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see now I'm out of the searchlight. He is bonsaiing me. Now there's a reason you don't especially want to fight these, especially without the um, sentinel, is, um, well, we'll see that in a second here. Um, yeah, I haven't put that on yet, have I? Yeah, yeah. Ow! That's why. I mean, I guess I could, like, go sentinel, sentinel, med, but, uh, I'm just gonna retry the fight to try and get away from this behemoth. Because I'm not fighting it yet. And I hear a normal treasure chest. Now I can't retry. Okay, there we go. It was a game over, but whatever. I got out of the fight. Maybe. Yes, I did. Um, I hear a chest, but I believe it's up. Ah, it's that chest. Um, I think there's an... Yeah, there's an actual chest like that up there, too. Let's the talk scientists to are so passionate about their work. They're working just as hard as ever, even in the dark. Speaking of passionate, I'm the most passionate person I know when it comes to making a living. And on that note, please peruse my passionately promising pick of pieces. Sorry, saying that five times fast. Passionately promising pick of pieces. Hey, host, since I've last recorded, I've actually been able to get a couple more of the DLC weapons, so I now have the Miramasa and the Catastrophe Blade open to me on Null. Um, Miramasa being Shane Bonus level 1, it's free so I'm gonna grab it, and the Catastrophe Blade being the equivalent of the Jinjai Bow. So um, yeah, that's more of the DLC weapons. I don't have more some of the Sarah ones, but whatever. Um, I'll show off like more DLC stuff later, including like costumes and all that. I kind of want to keep it like the actual base game for most of the LP, anyways. Um, so I mean, yeah, as you can see, there these are available down there. But I mean, I'll equip the catastrophe blade for now, I guess. I know it's a little dark in here, but I paid my electric bill, I swear. Here we get juggling. You're trying to be this game's sense of humor thing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with the Catastrophe Blade, just because I like those types of weapons. This is the first time I've actually seen this weapon. Holy... Okay then. Interesting. So I haven't actually used it since I've gotten it. My other file is way past the point of using it. Yeah. So up to you. That building over there is part of the Padra Ruins. You should take a look around if you have the time. Okay. Sounds I like cool, I guess. Ah! Hey, you have a job. Quit complaining. Anyways, no, there's treasure chest over here. Let's get to the lights. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, these hallways 
These pathways here don't tend to have behemoths in them, but they do have other enemies. Just like so. Um, these are... My headset's trying to... My headset's trying to make me a robot. Um, yeah, these are the Gahongas and Gaianax. I think that's it, what it is. Yeah, Gahongas and Gaianax. You want to take out the Gahongas first? Because they do this thing where they like raise up their attack, they can debuff you. At least in 13, they could debuff you. Um, yeah, you just want to go for these first. Gahongas can be, uh, um, then they're just, these can be commandos? Yeah, commandos. Anyways, diversity because I'm dying. Because apparently I really should spend some CP, and wow, it sounds almost like I'm using, uh, lightsaber with this thing. That's, oh my gosh. Okay then. Thanks, weapon. Let's see if I can show that off a little more. Okay then. That's enough showing it off. Um, relentless assault. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, so I've been playing this in, since my other save was like 519, and it's 69 right now. And I haven't played it since that, since I was messing around with some of the later DLC on there. And oh my gosh, I feel so rusty at the game. It doesn't help that I feel slow, because I mean, compared to my other file, I feel like so slow. Oh my gosh. Anywho, treasure chest, let's pick it up. Enough rambling about your other file, Aaron. I have pretty Gil, awesome. I like Gil. Gil is great. It's not as hard to come by as it is in. Um, 13, but still good to get. Anyways, more new enemies. These are our upgrades of the Zendroviums back from Russia Ruins. They're the Mandrakes. And the same basic thing here is that these ones can be commandos, not saboteurs. I like saboteurs. Saboteurs are great. And speaking of saboteurs, I should probably put one in my party before the next boss. Because we do have a boss coming up, actually. We do have a boss coming up. Uh, I'm probably gonna spend some TP after this fight, and then, yeah, yeah. Um, so how's it going, guys? Oh my gosh, it's just so weird to be recording again. It, I don't. It just does. Cause yeah, I haven't recorded this in so so long. Okay, wow, I am not used to, like, this slow of a chain bonus on my weapon, because it feels- it still feels slow, and it's like, ugh. At least it's fast- it's apparently stronger than the other weapon I have on them. Except these are taking ages to die. I have the right weapon on? Penguin, did you give me the wrong weapon? Seriously? Or do I just really need to- No? Catastrophe Blade. Okay. Yeah. I guess that one's stronger, but I tend to like these ones more. Um, uh, don't need HP. Um, so I'm gonna do some CP real quick. I, oh wait, no, that's why I wasn't- that's why I'm stuck on my CP, because I hit the end. Um, this is a big nose, so let's do a commando. That's why I hadn't spent my CP, because I was on the point of viewing a big nose. Oh my god, it's all coming back to me. Seriously, this is what happens when you don't do record for ages. Um, I am going to increase my ATB gauge, I believe. Yeah, increase ATB gauge. Now I'm gonna spend CP. Woo. Okay, that finishes off my CP for Noel. Um, off to Sarah, and um, yeah, I'll do Saboteur level. Okay then. No. Yeah, I'm gonna increase her ATB gauge as well. And anyways, more leveling. Yay. Okay then. They are both bent on CP, so let's us head forward. Probably into another battle, I'm sure. Try to get me my luck, because I do all CP spending, and I'll get another battle before I get there. And yes, Chocolina is also here, but I don't think she has anything more for us. Let's check. A little darkness. I'm skipping what she's saying. Um. Yeah, not really. So I could buy these now, but I mean, it's just strength. Or, like, more powerful and meh. Um. 
Yeah, I'll buy some more wound potions. I should get some more paint down, but I should hopefully be fine. I it's a little Let's dark see. in here. Oh, it's just Chocolia. Hello! How's it going? Nice to see you! Having a good day? That's good. 